Okay, I'm Dave Farb with Farb Guidance Systems. Uh, we're at the Farm Progress Show here in Boone, Iowa. Uh, here to talk about our driverless uh, tractor technology. Um, we will, with before the end of the year, uh, be introducing and offering to the marketplace a driverless tractor. Uh, we do have a part number, a price, and delivery date. Uh, we have taken several orders on this technology already, and it's here. Uh, it's not five years down the road, it's here today. This technology works similar to what you have in your GPS tractors, uh, except that we have removed from our platform the cab, the steering wheel, the seat, all of the gauges are removed from the machine. Uh, it's truly an unmanned and driverless technology and machine. We're excited about this for obvious reasons. Uh, a lot of people will ask us, how does that work? How do I control it and monitor it? In general, it works from a mapping system. We go in and uh, scan your field, typically with a drone type uh, unit. From that, we create a map, which is really the path where the machine follows. And at this point in time, it is a, a tractor platform, so it can pull conventional equipment through your field. The initial platform is about a 200 horsepower unit. List price on that, manufactured suggested retail price, $250,000. So virtually in the same price range as a conventional tractor of that type. Typical drawbar hitch can pull most of your implements and uh, really a replacement for the conventional farm tractor today. Well, we see this technology having a lot of legs to it. Today, obviously, it's being uh, implemented in more conventional type platforms, but where this can go in the future is pretty staggering and pretty exciting. Uh, once you remove the operator from the platform or from the tractor, uh, you realize very quickly that equipment doesn't need to be the size that it has been in, in the past. Traditionally, over the last several decades, equipment's just become bigger and bigger and bigger, almost to the point where it's just unreasonable now uh, to the size of some of these pieces of equipment. With this technology, and again, once the operator's not there, it actually makes more sense to go small. And you ask yourself, why did we get so big in the first place with, with the technology and the tractors? And a pretty simple answer was so one person could get a lot of work done in that short period of time. When that person isn't on the platform, you can have as many of those machines out there as you want, and actually they become quite cost effective uh, when that's the case. In some cases, actually cheaper than what the cost is uh, today per foot. Again, it's, it's uh, basically a tractor replacement at this point. So anywhere that you would use a tractor, I mean, this, this can be there. Uh, for tillage, uh, harvesting, seeding, spraying, uh, whatever the case uh, would be. Clearly the technology has more legs to it than that. I mean, it can be integrated in other platforms. We are at phase one with the tractor platform. We are currently working on phase four inside our firm. Can't tell you what those things are, but I can tell you that it will radically change what the platforms are, the size of it, and the return on investment for that type of thing. Uh, we are literally a guidance system company. Uh, we view ourselves as a technology company and a marketing company for that technology. We do not want to become a manufacturer of equipment. Uh, we do want to partner with manufacturers, uh, whether that be larger tractor manufacturers or others. Again, can't tell you everything where we're going there, but that's the exciting part of this uh, technology. It, it really is adaptable and can be integrated into many different types of platforms. Uh, good question. A lot of the technical hurdles have been overcome. Typical question is, well, what happens when a person walks into the field? How's the tractor going to know they're there? Uh, there's a lot of technologies out there already to sense that type of thing. I mean, you can use infra infrared, LIDARs. Uh, we implement a lot of those things uh, into the platform. With that said, however, no technology is perfect. And uh, you've seen that in airplanes and trains that are going too fast around the curves. Uh, why did that happen? Typically, when you investigate that, you find out that it was operator error. In our studies and to our knowledge uh, in the egg industry, when a tractor accident happens, about 80% of the time it involves the operator. Well, if the operator isn't there, he can't get hurt. Okay, so we see this as a much safer technology. There's all kinds of things we can do to protect the general public from coming into contact with the, with the tractor in an inadvertent way. 
Uh, things like the invisible doggy fence, for example, that type of technology is one of the things that we implement uh, in the tractor. And there are others. On the initial tractor platform, there's at least six computers in the platform that take care of those types of things. And it's literally much safer than what a conventional tractor is today.